in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, bang on. In English, when we say something is bang on, we mean that it's perfect. And I think this might be a North American saying, I'm not sure, but I hear this all the time. Let's say um, I went to a party for my sister's birthday last week and my brother-in-law planned the party and the planning was bang on. That means he did a really, really good job of planning the party. Let's say my van needed to be painted and I want the paint job to look perfect. I would go to a certain person I know who paints vehicles because they job, the job they do is always bang on. So when you say something's bang on, it just means that it's done perfectly. I try to make sure my English lessons are bang on whenever I make them. I, make, I want to make them current and I want to make them something uh, that helps you learn a bit more English. I want them to be bang on. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, a bang up job. Now, bang is actually a word that means when two things hit together, right? Like one car can bang into another. But in these two sentences, we're using bang to talk about something good. A bang up job means a really, really good job. Sometimes people do a bang up job when they're making supper for someone else. If I go and eat at my sister's place, I know that she's going to do a bang up job when she prepares dinner. She's just a really good cook. She knows how to use just the right amounts of salt and pepper and spices to make almost anything taste amazing. She always does a bang up job. So to review, when you say something is bang on, you mean that it's perfect. Uh, when I come outside, I always think to myself, the work that Jen does is bang on, and I'll show you some of her work in a bit. And when someone does a bang up job, it's kind of similar, isn't it? When someone does a bang up job, it means that they've done something really, really well. I hope when you go to work, you do a bang up job every day. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Andre. I really enjoy the weekend. When Friday morning arrives, I feel that the weekend is so close that I can taste it. Recently, I've been taking an online course about engineering completely in English. I could take it in Spanish, but I just want to get a taste of studying in English. Thanks, Mr. Bob. And my response was this, your usage of both phrases is bang on. And then in brackets, that means correct. So I use the phrase I taught earlier to respond to Andre. Yes, your use of both phrases from the video before, the phrase to get a taste of and, oh, I just forgot the other one. It slipped my mind. What was the other one? To get a taste of and so close that I can taste it. I should have remembered that one. Anyways, bang on. You did a bang up job on those two. Hey, I was going to show you over here today. Um, we have been planting a lot of flowers into the field but we still have a lot more to plant. So behind me, you can see what's kind of this covered wagon. We call it our greenhouse wagon because light can come through. I'll give you a little peek inside here for a minute. So you can see we have some stuff on the ground here. I actually think these are gourds, some mini pumpkins. And then over here in our greenhouse wagon, we have a lot, oh, these haven't done so well. That happens sometimes when you farm. We have a lot of things that we need to plant. You can see all of these seedlings in here. We have quite a bit of work to do to get all of these planted out in the field. And then you can see this little funny thing we do. We use these black sleds. These are actually kids sleds for sledding in the winter. And we use them to water all of these trays. So. Hopefully uh, Jen didn't mind me giving you a little look in there. Sometimes she's not happy when I show people things that have died, but honestly, that is just something that happens when you're a farmer. Uh, sometimes things die. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, and I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Bye.